Is that hack you've seen on social media all it's cracked up to be? Well, we sort it out in something we call hack or whack. All right. <laughs> We're gonna start off with splinters because we know splinters and kids don't always make the best mix. Those suckers, they're not always easy to get out. Sometimes they even require a trip to the doctor, but a British mom recently went viral on Facebook with her alleged pain-free solution, a pediatric medicine syringe. She says all you need to do is cover the splinter sticking out with the hole in the bottom of the clean syringe and pull. So her theory is you take a syringe and let's just say you've got a splinter hanging out I'm actually pushing the splinter further in. Right. Now I do have a seal, and it should work. Now that I have a seal, yay! Yeah. But I, the reason I call this whack is because, you know, if I have a splinter and it's, it's like that, you know, for, I'm just gonna take some tweezers and pull it out that That's way. Right. I worry that you start messing around with syringes push that you probably don't forward. have, and you use, you're gonna push it in further to the point where then you can't get it out at all. I, I, I actually think it's creative, I, I think and it's it could really work, creative, but I it, wouldn't recommend it. it. Correct, and I, and I think not all of us have syringes sitting around, but no, if no. you do have like a pediatric one, I think her point was that little kids sometimes get really intimidated when you're coming at them with tweezers. But I think if it's, it's As opposed yeah, to this? Well, this, this? I'm this a kid, you come at me scary. with this. If you've ever had a yeah. shot, I'm terrified. Well, fair enough. As, a, as fair a rule enough. of thumb, your first shot on a splinter is your best shot. Well, that's true. And that being, and that being yeah. said, I agree with Travis that you're more likely to push it in with that, mm -hmm. then you yeah. have to and go the to the mistake, needle and the dig biggest it mistake out. people seem to make with is, and sometimes it's hard to tell, but you got to look at the angle of entry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it, you got that one shot, and if you try to pull it up out of the skin in a different angle in which it went in, it's going to break. So yes. you got to try to pull it out in a sterile fashion mm -hmm. in the same angle that it went in, in one fell swoop, one piece. Mm -hmm. And if you mm -hmm. can't get it all out, then you do. You have to go. Yeah. Get professional and, and, help, and, and then remember, we can numb it up. Yeah. And if it's if it's warm, if it's red, if you start to see pus accumulate around it, obviously then you have to go see right. a medical professional because then bacteria may have gone in with that splinter; it could be yeah. infected.